Hi guys, I am Isa, and today we're going to learn how to. So we're going to learn how to make a background effect using Anime.js. So I'm going to open my text editor. I'm going to go to where it is. So where the folder is. So anyways, So anyways, I'm going to create a div with the class of effect. And I'm also going to link the CSS to it. So I'm going to say link rel is equal to style sheet. Rep is equal to style.css. And so, so, so since the style.css file doesn't exist, we have to create it. So anyways, I'm going to say dot div. I'm going to say width be 50 px, the height be 100 px. The background will be red. Okay, the background's gonna be blue. So I'm going to open it. Let me just open another instance of my text editor and there yeah, open the HTML file. There's the CSS file. So let me just change this to dot effect. So now we have that blue square. I also want to add a box shadow. I'm going to say box shadow, 2px, 10px. And I'm going to say black. I'm going to add that shadow. So I'm just going to write 2px, negative 2px. So I'll take that. If I choose negative 2px and 2p, if I choose negative 2px and negative 2px, would it be like that? So I'm going to write 10px. So now it's blurred. I'm going to change these to 0. No, the shadow at the center. So I'm going to change this from black, black to dark blue. So I'm just increases from 10px to 15px. So now let me reach, so let me just tag out this div class effect.
but I'm going to save both of them. I'm going to open an author. It's an instance of Emacs. And there, I'll open the script.js. So in here, I'm going to say script sort script script dot js. So now, so in script dot js. I'm going to say so I'm going to say for what i is equal to zero and i is less than fifty and i plus plus I'm going to say con I'm going to say document dot write i I'm going to say what effect equal to document dot create element div. I'm going to say effect dot class name is equal to effect. I'm going to say docu document dot body dot append child effect so anyways now we'll see that we have a hundred of them Here, I'm going to say position absolute. So now all of them are together. And I'm going to say body display flex. See, align items center. And justify content center. So now they're all in the middle. So now it's time to animate them. So I'm just going to. So I'm just going to get the animate.min.js. So I'm also going to say script source anime.min.js So in here I'm going to say anime So I want to say anime I want to say targets dot effect to say translate x anime dot stagger 50 sounds like that but we don't but we want the translate x to be random I'm going to say we want to say so I'm going to use an arrow functions here so I'm going to say, I'm going to say return 
enemy that's really dumb. Negative 300, 300. So now it's at random. And he just to negative 700 and 700. Felt like that. I'm gonna put this into a function. I'm going to say what? If I'm going to say what? Animate. I'm going to make it to be an arrow function. So now I'm going to call the animate function. Now it does the same thing. So in so in here, I'm going to say complete. Let's say complete animate. So you can see that every time I finish, it, it's really the minus time again. I'm just going to say using be linear. And so, so I'm going to add the translate to Y. And say translate y it's going to be another arrow function in return and let me that's really numb negative 700 700 now the randomize between the x and the y and, and here i'm just going to set the body's background to and set to rgb Say it's Say hundred, comma one hundred, comma two hundred. Then the background is blue. So so in the anime dot js, I'm just going to write scale. Looks to be another our function. Was we just say return? Let me not write it down. One, comma, three. So now we're going to see that all of them are random in the scale too. So let me just change this from fifty. So 100. Just now there are more of them. So let me just change the background of the body. But to make it more darker. So, so at least now the background animation is finished. Although, if you want to, you can you can change the box shadow from dark blue to black. So we're gonna set it to an RGBA to add transparency. Comma zero, comma zero, comma. 0.3 so now it's the background is transparent black so anyways now I'm just going to change the color of this so when I go into my style.css and I'm going to change the body's background to light pink I'm going 
going to change the adult effects background to pink. So anyways, that's the end of today's tutorial. If you've enjoyed, then leave a like and subscribe. So bye.